Well, the scene of uh, genetic testing has rapidly changed, and um, I think every uh, clinician uh, having uh, doing diagnostics uh, of epilepsy should be now more and more aware of the possibilities of genetic testing. So. Um, I think we rarely used that earlier, but now I, I think more and more we should be aware of the possibilities. And especially, of course, uh, early ones that epilepsy. So earlier the ones that is, uh, the more possibilities there are to be found uh, genetic reasons and, and, and etiologies for the epilepsy. That's that's for sure. But then, of course, also later on, if, if the person has uh, intellectual disabilities, for example, any kind, not, very, not only severe ones, but also milder ones, some cognitive developmental problems, learning difficulties, that's a sign that we should already start to think about genetic testing. Then uh, dysmorphic features, of course, uh, could be a sign of, of possibilities to, to find something. And um, so these, these are signals of genetic things. And, and we must remember that uh, genetic is not equal to uh, familiar. So we are not talking about epilepsies that you, you should find in the family. Uh, that's, that's, of course, an indication to, to do genetic testing, but majority of the mutations that we currently find, they are de novo mutations, so new mutations in, in, the, in the patient that we are looking at. Then personally, I'm, uh, I'm uh, really interested in progressive myoclonic epilepsies, which do not start early. <laughs> many of them do not start early. Some of them do, but, but many of them start in perfectly healthy, healthy child or, or teenager later on. And then, then you start to have tonic-clonic seizures and, and then myoclonic seizures. And then you start to have also other neurological symptoms like cognitive problems or ataxia or, or other things. And, and that's, again, another other field where we, we uh, currently have many, many, many new uh, genetic diseases. So, for example, these are um, some of the very interesting areas where uh, more and more genetic testing can be used and, and uh, new uh, diseases are found.